Hi there. So today's topic we'll be looking at is accidentals. How do you teach accidentals and how do you help students remember in terms of how to draw them, right? I'm going to be taking an example from my level one string plastic books for violin, viola and cello. This is also available on the mini level one and the greater book. So let's look at this. The way I explain accidentals is this sharp, flat, natural. When you have a flat tire, what happens to the tire? Does it go down lower or does it float up in the sky? It goes down lower, which means the flat is lower. When you have a sharp sign, what happens when you get pricked by something sharp? Do you kind of like jump or you just collapse suddenly? You kind of jump up because you kind of, it's like fright of something sharp that's poking you, right? Hence the sharp is higher. Natural means no change or normal. So that's going to be in the middle. It's a neutral person between flats and sharps. So that is how you identify the difference between flat, natural and sharp. Sharp is higher. Flat is lower, natural is normal. So let's look into this, right? How do we draw your sharps and flat signs? A lot of students tend to do this. They tend to draw the notes, the accidentals anywhere they want, whether or not it's through the line or in the space, right? It could be anywhere. This is how I explain it. I use props. I love using props. And what I've done is I've taken bowls and I put signs on it, either sharp or a flat sign. With the sharp and the flat sign, what I'm going to do is this. When you have your lunch or a bowl of noodles, when it's up front here, is it easy to eat? Yes. Okay. When mom puts a bowl of noodles up here, is it easy to eat? I can still eat. Yeah, but is it easy to eat? No. Okay. So when you draw a note and you draw an accidental, you have to make sure that the accidental is right where the head is, right where the head is so that you can easily eat it. So when we look back on our exercise, it needs to be where the head is so that you can eat your meal properly. If it's on a different space or line, that means that that bowl of noodles is, doesn't belong to you. It belongs to somebody else. It belongs to somebody shorter or belongs to somebody taller than you. And that is how you teach how to draw sharps and flats and the difference between sharps and flats. The next thing I'm going to mention is the difference between accidentals and uh, key signature. Accidents and key signature. Accidentals, I like to say, is accidentally placed right next to the note. Key signature, if you look at the word key, key signature means you lock, right? You think about locking a door. So key signature means you lock the symbols in the beginning of the piece. Accidental means you accidentally place it right next to the notes. Key signature, key signature means it's locked in the beginning of the piece. So, that, so that's the difference between key signature and accidentals. I hope this is helpful. If you have any other ideas or any different ways that you are explaining accidentals and key signatures, please do share below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time, bye.